Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So I feel like I've been doing so many sewing projects lately, but I will tell you my YouTube followers are telling me that's what they want is sewing. I'm so excited to say that I hit over 500 YouTube followers. So thank you guys so much. And hey, if you're new to my channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button down below and click on the bell and YouTube will alert you each time I upload a new video. I try to do that every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So this week we are going to be sewing again and we have got a really quick and easy project that is an alternative to the face mask everybody's wearing. Now I'm not sure what state you're from but in Washington State last Monday they made it mandatory that every employer and every one of their workers wear a mask while they're on the job. So I've been making masks like crazy, but this project is inspired by my son. So my son works for the city and he does not have to wear a mask when he's um, out in the truck by himself, but he has to put one on if he sees anyone. Taking on and off a regular mask seemed to be a real hassle for him. So he said, mom, is there any chance you could make me a gator? Well, of course, I'm always up for a challenge, so I decided to go check out how to make gators. So guess what, you guys? This is this week's project. We are going to make gators. They are so fun and so easy to make, you guys. And it was so fun going to the fabric store not looking for cotton fabric. I went and looked for knit. Now another really cool idea here, you guys, is if you don't have knit fabric, you can make these out of an old t-shirt. So. Why don't you guys give me a few minutes, I'm going to get my camera angle changed and I'm going to meet you at my craft table and we are going to get making these super cute gators. Okay crafters, let's get going on this project. So as I said in the intro, these gators are really fun and easy to make and you can pick out all different types of fabric. I will tell you though, the fabric is going to determine how much stretch you have. So I wanna show you what I mean by that. This material stretches really nice. This ribbed material really stretches, okay? And then this fabric is the same as that first fabric. It's got a nice stretch. And then this is another ribbed fabric. I will tell you on my blog, um, I do um, kind of go over a little bit more on the different um, fabric blends and what stretches um, the best. The ribbed really stretches nice. What we're gonna do today though is we are gonna start out with a piece of fabric. And what you want to do is, whoops, that's the wrong piece of fabric, Lisa. You want to start out with a piece of fabric that is 18 by 18. Now, I will tell you, I've got three different sizes and I'll link those down below in the video. We've got a large that is 20 by 20. This is going to be a medium, which is 18 by 18. And then we also have a youth size that is 17 by 17. So one thing I wanna tell you guys though, if you've been following me on my blog, I finally mastered the rotary blade. Um, I picked up this rotary blade at our local um, craft store. It's an Ulfa um, 45 millimeter and it cuts like a gem. I actually folded this up to four or uh, six layers, I think was the most I did. Cut absolutely perfect. Learn my lesson. Use your plastic ruler. So I'll make sure I link that down below so you guys can see that. The very first thing we're going to do is we have got this and I've already pre-cut this you guys and I'm doing a medium one so it is an 18 by 18. The very first thing you want to do after you cut it though is determine which way your fabric stretches better okay so I feel my my fabric stretches the best this way this is the part that's going to go around the neck that's going to stretch around your neck so very important so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to fold it in half. Now this fabric happens to like to um, roll. So we want to make sure that we're matching up our edges um, right side to right side. Now I am going to be using my serger. I picked up a serger right about the time COVID hit. 
and I had a serger, but it just wasn't working really well. And I absolutely love my brother um, 1034D, and I'll put a link to it down below. Very inexpensive. If you guys don't have a serger, I highly recommend this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this over to my serger and I'm gonna make sure my ends are rolled out and I'm gonna serge down this 18 inch um, length, okay? Do not serge here. I wanna serge the long one. Remember, this is where my fabric will really stretch. So I'm gonna take this over, I am going to serge it and then I'll come right back and I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, so I'm back from my um, serger and you guys can see I've got a nice stitch. Now I am using a four thread um, stretch stitch on the serger. If you guys are using a sewing machine, use a knit, um, knit um, stitch or use a zigzag stitch, okay? So now that we've got the long side stitched, we're gonna turn this right sides out, okay? So you guys can start to see our project come together. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this halfway up and kind of make a tube. And what I'm trying to do is I am going to be matching up those center seams, okay? And then I'm just going to get this in here. And really, you guys, I'm and basically I'm making the tube, okay? Now, the trick here is we've gotta be able to turn it right sides out when we're all done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it over to my serger. I'm gonna start serging about right here because I really like to serge over that seam. So I'm gonna start about right here, but I am going to finish about two inches before that. I wanna leave about a two inch opening and that way we're gonna turn our project right side out, okay? So give me a second, I'm gonna take it to the serger, I'm gonna go all the way around, starting here and ending right about here. Okay, you guys, I'm back from my serger, and as you can see, I did just like I said, I was gonna start here, go all the way around, and I stopped just short, okay? Now, with this knit fabric, it, you don't need much of a hole to be able to turn it right sides out. So I'm literally just gonna poke it through, and we are just about done, you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I like to kind of fill it all out by that seam there, okay? And so all I have to do now is I need to finish off this opening. Now you can do it one of two ways. This is gonna end up on the inside. So you can either take it and you can just um, do a hand stitch and do that, or you can go ahead and do a zigzag. I'm gonna run over to the machine and just put a quick zigzag in it to show you how quick and easy this project is. Okay, I'm back from my sewing machine. And as you guys can see, I just put a really easy zigzag there. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna turn our gator right side out and we are done. So we started out with an 18 by 18. So we are gonna end up with a nine by about an eight and a half, okay? And the other thing I like to always do is stretch and see how far it stretches. So I'm gonna go from 10 to about a 23, so about 26. So this will stretch open to about a 26. Really important because we want it to be a smaller form here, but we want it to be able to stretch to come over our head, and then we want it to stay up when we pull it up when we have to wear our mask. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you a couple other ones that I had made. And one other thing I wanted to let you guys know, if you don't have the um, knit fabric on hand or you can't find any, I've been seeing a lot of people just using old t-shirts. So as long as you can cut an 18 by 18, 20 by 20, or for the youth size 17 by 17, you can go ahead and make a gator out of an old t-shirt. So hang tight. I'll show you some pictures of some finished ones and thanks for joining me. So here's some examples of our finished gators. I've had so much fun making these. Thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. I hope you like this sewing project, making gaiters as a great alternative to the face mask. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell. It will remind you each time I upload a new video. If you have any questions, please add them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, 
Don't forget to check out my blog at Fun Stuff Crafts for other DIY projects.